Hey everyone, we are going to finish up practice sheet number 20. So number six says write the equation of the line. So let me pull this up. So remember guys, the two equations that we know, hopefully we know those, are y equals mx plus b and y equals kx. Hopefully we have those memorized, but this one at least is on the formula chart. So we have to figure out which one this is. So hopefully we remember that the first thing we do is find m. m is the constant rate of change, and in a table we do delta y over delta x. So delta y, how much is that from each one? And hopefully you know it's increasing by 5, okay? And then x, that's an easy one, right? Because that's going by 1. Now remember, even though 5 is down, we put it on top. And even though 1 is up, we put it on bottom. That's how it's supposed to be written. So you can use 5 over 1, or you can use 5. So remember, this is always m, and sometimes it is k. We have to figure out if it's k. Okay, so we do have a constant rate of change. Now we're going to see if it goes through 0, 0 to figure out if it's proportional, okay? So 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 18 minus 13 is 5. 13 minus 8 is 5. 8 minus 3 is 5. 3 minus 5, well, I know that that is not 0, right? So 3 minus 5, hopefully, guys, you know that's negative 2, okay? So this tells me that it's not this one, okay? And that's B. So your job is to plug in M and B. And remember, B will be a negative or a minus, okay? So you write the equation in this box with B and with M. Hopefully, we're doing really good at that. Simplifying, hopefully remember, we're just figuring out what we can divide the top and bottom by. Okay. Angle pair. So, uh, remember, if we have this, do you remember that's 90, right? So that's the end point. We always want to be able to write that equation, okay? And remember, that 90 more C, that's going to tell you that that is complementary, write that word, complementary, okay, and then set up your equation, 4x plus 3 plus 15, put that right here, so you can solve for the value of x, okay, 9, circle the numbers that are integers, remember integers are no decimals and no fractions, unless they're trying to trick you, okay, like a fraction like 2 over 1, that would still be an integer because that equals 2. But we want no decimals, no fractions. Cross out everything that you see that's a fraction or a decimal. Okay. Now, solve and write the answer in simplest form. So this is division. Okay. So hopefully you remember division. We do not get an LCD. We do Texas. Okay. So 7 times 5. 35 plus 1, 36 over 7, divide by 5 times 2, 12, I said that wrong, 5 times 2, 10, plus 2 is 12 over 5, okay? And then remember the one thing that's different between multiply and divide is when it's divide, we do keep, change, flip. So keep this, change that to a multiply, flip this, guys, and there is a relationship. Please, there is one relationship. Find that to make your numbers a little smaller to work with, okay? Make sure your answer is a mixed number in simplest form.